Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Habakkuk 2. For the vision, vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. It will not tarry, because it will surely come. While we are waiting on the Lord for His promise, for His purpose, His will, we still live in the here and now, today. And we need to see what the Lord has for today. In 1 Timothy 1, the prophetic word that was directed to you prepared us for this. All those prayers are coming together for now so that you will do well, fearless in your struggle. So pray for his prophetic word and his promises to be fulfilled in our lives. And we will pray for God's will to be accomplished today. And we will walk in his grace today, his strength, his power today. There are people who need to know about Jesus people who need his healing, and there are people to pray with and for. There are things to accomplish for the kingdom of God today while we pray for his prophetic word and his promises to be fulfilled now. Esther 4, who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Let's pray. Father, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, in me, in us as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. We rejoice in your word today. We re live in your kingdom today. Lord, give us your grace and your strength for today. Lord, you have allowed us to be born for this time, for this season, for such a time as this. So open our eyes to see what we need to be ready for tomorrow and to see what you are doing today. You are wise and good, and you are working something amazing and life-changing in your church, in us, and for our nation today. I trust you, Lord, and I am determined not to lean on my own understanding, but in all my ways I will acknowledge you and follow your direction for my path this day. Open my eyes to see you working and to join in your plan, your purpose for my life, for your kingdom and for your glory. In the name of the soon-coming King, Jesus Christ, amen.